Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back, and thank you for tuning in. I'm your host, Frank Emerald, here at the Emerald Scale, official YouTube home of my home-based hobby, Emerald Scale Exotics. And today I want to bring you guys one of my new additions. She's actually not very new. She's been here for about eight months now. I got her back in January, and uh, this is my female Hog Island Boa. She's 100% purebred, and she is just doing amazingly since the day I got her. Um, she's actually pretty much doubled in size since the day I got her. So in eight short months, she's gotten quite large. Um, not so much in length. In length, I think she's probably put on about two feet. Um, but her girth has definitely doubled in size. So she's quite a thick girl, and she's quite strong when she wants to be. Uh, right now, she's quite relaxed. And uh, this is basically her in her peach phase. So um, if you guys know about Hog Island boas, they're amazing dwarf boas. Um, I know a lot of people, there's a lot of debate out there on whether they're true dwarves or not. However, from everything that has been documented and read, and from the pure breeds that I have seen, they do definitely seem to be a true dwarven species. Now, for boas, dwarves are typically between 3 to 6 foot. So if you do have a pretty large 5 plus foot, you know, hog island boa that's nice and big like this girl, then you're still a dwarf boa, regardless if it seems pretty large. You guys gotta remember, mid-sizers are gonna be between 6 and 9 foot, and then you have your true BCCs, the red tails, which are going to be between 9 and 12 foot. So this girl right now is probably barely capping out at 5 foot. Um, maybe 5 foot and a couple of inches. So I haven't really measured her, but just going by off of the tank that she's in, she's in a 4 foot tank and she can wrap around, I mean she stretches out well, but she wraps part of her tail around it. Um, and pretty much it covers the last part of the side panel, which is a foot long. So, actually it's 16 inches deep, so she's a little over 5 foot long, but still, she's a dwarf boa. This is not a mid-sized boa, and this is definitely not one of your larger, you know, snakes that we have nowadays, which is the, uh, almost 9 to 12 foot BCCs. So, with that being said, guys, uh, and so you know, she is a boa constrictor and parator subspecies that comes from the, uh, Hog Islands off of Honduras, so that is her locale, and they have an amazing propensity to change color. So I did mention earlier, she's in her peach phase right now. She also has the ability to basically wipe away all this little peach coloring you see all up and down her, as well as the sides on her, the blushing. Um, that can basically go away, as well as this kind of yellowish gold color she has going on too. That all goes away and she turns almost blue. Um, she turns like a really, really bright gray, like a silver blue. It's pretty ridiculous. Um, I have pictures of her actually on my Facebook and Instagram when she's in her blue phase. Um, usually when she's out, she's quite excited. She's quite happy to be handled. Um, and so she turns quite peachy. And uh, I think it's just for the stimulation and the fact that she's getting to stretch herself out and exercise. Um, so yeah, she's an awesome, awesome female, and I'm hoping to one day acquire a purebred male to breed to her, or uh, maybe, you know, a reputable breeder can do some kind of a breeding hookup and we can split the babies. So we'll see where we go, but she's really big now, and I think I have the ability to breed her already. So I look forward to that project coming here to the Emerald Scale, guys, and um, yeah, this is she. So. Thank you guys for tuning in. I really appreciate you guys that are subscribing still. I appreciate everybody that watches my videos. Post a like if you like the video. If you don't, then that's fine. You can also dislike if you don't like it. Um, hopefully you don't. And also, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And to all my people out there that stay with my channel, I really appreciate you. Um, and you know guys, I always do my best to try to subscribe back. Try to follow your videos as well. And let's... Uh, keep this reptile hobby that we all love alive. So thank you once again. I'm going to bring you a few more snakes right now, um, but I'm going to do them all in different clips rather than running it all into one. So thank you very much, guys. Talk to you soon.